Hey guys, welcome to and welcome back to my channel, Shay Sunshine. It's your girl Shay. Oh my god, it's been such a long time since I filmed. I forgot what my camera looked like. But no, it's just been really, I've had so much going on. By the way, I'm coming from church. That's not a little bit fancy, but I'm coming from church. And I just wanted to, you know, I've been praying to God to kind of help me get back into this process and get back into my journey and all that stuff because I do want to see this through. I want to see the growth. I want to see the progress. I want to see the success of this channel. So, um, you know, and with the grace of God, it's going to work out. But, you know, it's just been so much going on. Like this year has been a shit show to say the least. But, um, you know, for me, it's been good and bad. I mean, I, I am grateful like during this pandemic because a lot of people's lives changed, you know, they lost their jobs. So I'm like grateful that regardless of what I went through, I was still blessed in so many other ways. So yeah, just a little bit of backstory too. I don't want to leave you guys hanging on why I kind of stopped filming for a period of time. Um, I was in a car accident um, a couple months back and you know, with a car accident, when you get external injuries, then it shows, but the internal injuries can be just as bad. So like, you know, I was really banged up and back pain, neck pain, um, whiplash, concussion, that kind of thing, headaches nonstop. Uh, and so it's been hard to like film through all of that. I even injured my hand. And so my wrist was twisted and it damaged to my ligaments and stuff and so, like that's why I'm gonna take it off when I start to cook but I try to keep this on just to kind of help it heal because sometimes it can be so painful and then even with the car accident I was in a I had to do a emergency surgery for my appendix and yeah so that like yeah I just started feeling pains and then I had to remove my appendix and it was just a lot of like healing and that kind of stuff so it's been hard to jump back into filming because it's been so much but like I said with the grace of God it's gonna work out and this is something like I have still been cooking mind you um so if you're on my Instagram or if you haven't been following me go follow me on Instagram Shay underscore sunshine one um yes I'm still showing foods and stuff but just in terms of doing videos as a youtuber you know like it's it's a lot it can be a lot so yeah, just be patient with me. Um, I'm getting this channel back up. I want to start posting more regularly, like at least once a week. I want to really <laughs> start doing that, but be patient with me. Um, what else? Oh yeah, so, okay, so one of the things I realized for me is I don't just like, I'm not one of those people that just pick up my phone and just start to film, like for me it's a preparation somewhat of a perfectionist so I like things in a certain order I like I just like the look of certain things I like being on camera and looking nice you know what I mean so I don't want to have to do that especially because I want to post more I don't want to do that each time because I don't want to do that each time I'm gonna not be doing intros like this I'm just gonna kind of jump into the video still you know talk to y'all but I'm gonna just jump into the cooking or DIY whatever it is that I'm doing um, I'll just kind of jump into it instead of like doing this intro because then I have to get all like queued up and stuff I mean every now and then I'll probably stop by and show you guys I'm still cute but um, not as much because I really want to post more and for me it takes time and too much preparation and all that stuff so with that being said that's my plan moving forward also let me know what you guys think of this. Like my daughter came up with this brilliant idea that I should be like, oh, you know, mommy, you should name me subscribers. And I'm like, what do I name my subscribers? <laughs> She's like, oh, how about Sunshine Gang? I'm like, or Sunshine Fam or whatever. So which one do you guys prefer? Comment below, comment under the video. Let me know if you guys like Sunshine Gang or Sunshine Fam or whatever. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna do today let me talk about what we're gonna do today today we're gonna do oxtail right so um <laughs> i have a little secret ingredient that i'm gonna be adding to my oxtail and i'll show you guys that once i get there and kind of give you the backstory on that but we're gonna do this oxtail it's a little bit different it's not your typical oxtail 
I mean, the seasons are pretty typical, but I'm adding a little secret ingredient. So I really want to know if you guys have ever, if you know anybody that has done this, or if you yourself have done it, like, you know, your auntie or grandma, anybody has mentioned it, let me know. And if not, then try it and let me know how it turns out, if you like it, all that good stuff. Um, still, like I said, with my hand, I'm gonna be still doing my DIY stuff, but a lot of times I'm gonna get help because it hurts, even when I'm like chopping and stuff like that. So a lot of the preparation will be done off camera, of course, because my daughter will probably help me or my brother. Somebody will be here to help me um, cut up what I need to cut up because the the movement hurts my wrist a lot, um, wrist a lot, and even with like. That's why a lot of my DIY projects, I'm in the middle of some of them because I started like back when I first started my channel, started filming and then with the injuries and the uh, pain and stuff like that and surgery, I just had to kind of stop a lot. So I want to pick up and finish in post. I have so much videos to post <laughs> and to edit and to do all that stuff. So I want to pick that up, but yeah. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video and do this oxa. I'm also going to show you, I'm going to do, be doing gunga rice and peas with it. Oh, my gunga rice and peas is like bad. <laughs> but um, yeah, like I was talking to my brother just now. He's like, yo, because he's fasting, somewhat fruit fast. So, and he's kind of sewing back on meat or like not eating meat because he's cleansing right now. Um, which is something I want to do maybe like next week or the week after or like for a couple days Just do a cleanse at the minute too. I've been getting a lot of different herbs and figuring out How I want to do it water juice kind of thing. Well, yeah juice like juice natural juice But yeah, so my brother was like, oh um, He can't eat the oxtail, but yo save me the rice and peas and like just I'll eat the rice and peas and whatever I'm like, okay, cuz I make a lot of rice and peas cuz it lasts for a couple days but anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Pair it with some salad, plants, and all that good stuff like, you know, Jamaica turn up in my kitchen tonight. It's Sunday. Sunday dinner. So, yeah, let's get into it. I keep saying without further ado, but let's get into the video. Um, let's start cooking. Oh, I pre-seasoned my oxtail from like the night before. So if you have time, do this from the night before just so that... You know, it marinates and it soaks up all that spices and stuff like that. Um, if not, a couple hours, you know, but try to have it sit. Um, also, with the rice and peas, with the peas, I let it soak. I let it soak because I'm using like, not canned peas, but actual peas, peas. So I let it soak overnight and just softens it up and that makes it easier to cook. Cuts down the cooking time. If you don't have time to like put it to set the night before, you can always... Um, just cook it for a longer period like a couple hours it takes to cook peas you just want to cook it till it's soft but yeah let's get started okay guys so here we have my peas today I'm making gunga rice and peas and it's the same thing as pigeon peas so as you can see it's not really soft but it's like it's softer than typically because I can break it, right? So I let it sit and they've expanded. So now when I put it to boil, it's gonna not take as much time as if it wasn't soaking overnight. So to this water, I'm going to add scallion. So with the scallion, I didn't chop them up. I just put them, just cut it like string, stringy like this. We're gonna add thyme. I also like shelled off a lot of the time and onion like half of onion and then some pimento listen I rarely cook anything without pimento I love pimento and so we're gonna let this boil it's still gonna need to boil for some time to make sure the peas is all softened out and just gives it the color, the flavor of the, 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 the gungu peas, right? So it's still gonna need to boil for at least an hour, an hour and a half. Just depends. I don't really time it. 
But yep, yeah, so I'm gonna put this on, let it warm. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be cleaning off this oxtail and seasoning it up. Um, I'm gonna show you how I do that real quick. I'm gonna put it and let it sit. I'm cooking it tomorrow. The oxtail, you know, there's not a lot that you clean off. I just clean off the excess skin. You always gotta make sure you don't cut off the meat because the way oxy are expensive, my gosh. I don't know why they have to make it so expensive. That's the true they know it's like the signature black people dish. Like. So now I'm just gonna wash it. Vinegar and lemon. And I'm gonna wash it with lemon as well. So now our oxtail is cleaned and ready to season. So okay guys. So when it comes to oxtail, it takes a long time to cook. A couple hours if you're cooking it on the stove. If you pressure cook it, then it cuts the time in half. Because it does take a long time to cook, you wanna make sure you add seasons in there, a lot of seasons, so that way it kinda soaks and just absorbs into the meat and that's really what gives it the flavor. So this might look like a lot of season, but this is how I cook my oxtail and it's always good. So in this, I have half a tablespoon of all the seasons that I'm gonna show you. Because I'm used to just pouring free flow, I'm not used to measuring it, so I always add more than I need. You probably even cut it down to like half of a teaspoon instead of a tablespoon. I'm used to just sprinkling it or pouring it and just knowing when to stop. <laughs> I don't know how to cook with measuring, but I'm trying, I'm trying. So, here we go. So in this we have garlic pepper and herb season, Caribbean spice with roasted garlic season, or ginger garlic pimento season. I have the cock uh, <laughs> Caribbean traditions um, from Grace, amazing. I also have the our purpose black pepper, oxtail season of course, garlic powder, onion powder, and ginger. I'm gonna sprinkle all of that in and then mix. Here I have pimento seeds one whole onion, um, also green onions, and thyme. So green onions and thyme, about two stalks of green onions and then thyme. I'm also gonna add ginger and garlic. Um, this is about, what, five cloves of garlics. I didn't cut them, I didn't chop them, I just beat them like this, along with the ginger, I just beat it out. Then we're gonna add our brown in and let it sit. I normally add tomato. I'll add tomato when I'm cooking it tomorrow, but I didn't have any tomatoes, so when I go on the road, I'll get tomato and add it when I'm cooking it. Then we're gonna mix. This is what it looks like seasoned up. I'm going to put it into the fridge, let it sit, and then cook it tomorrow overnight for the day, and then cook it tomorrow and let all this season soak up in there. So see you guys tomorrow when I am cooking this, and I'm gonna show you how to cook my gunga rice and peas too and do a full Sunday dinner for you guys. Okay guys, so I inserted the clip of me seasoning this oxtail. As I told you, I forgot to put tomato in it, so I'm gonna add my tomato and this piece of pepper, just, um, you know, a couple pieces. This is gonna take a while to cook, so I'm not putting that much pepper and I'm not putting the actual seed, which is usually what the pepper part is. Ooh, but that smells strong. But just to give it flavor, then we're gonna mix. Okay? Okay, so I'm just adding a little bit of brown in just to give it a darker color. I like when my oxtail has a rich, nice, dark color. But do not put too much because browning is a thing that if you put too much, it'll taste bitter. So I just <laughs> know based on the color when enough is enough, right? So this is a nice color. Okay guys, so here it is. We're going to pressure cook this first for about, because listen, I don't got time to, <laughs> to have oxtail cooking for two, three hours. I don't have the time tonight. I'm coming from church and I'm hungry. I left church, stopped on the road, um, and then, you know, tired too. I woke up, oh my gosh, I woke up so early this morning. Oh, my neighbor made so much noise waking me up. Oh. So anyway, put this on, pressure cook it, and then get into it. So this is my pressure cooker. Um, if you prefer to cook it straight, then you can do that. Okay guys, so to my pressure cooker, I'm gonna add oil, vegetable oil, or just regular vegetable oil. Then I'm gonna add the meat. Okay, so <laughs> this is my secret ingredient, y'all. <sighs> Okay, so 
this is white rum we're gonna add a white rum to this so I remember I was talking to daughter's auntie uh, a couple months back we're talking about me and if you're Jamaican or Caribbean in general um, you know that the meat here in like Western countries Canada US don't taste the same as back home the ram goat the goat don't taste the same oxtail don't, chicken don't taste the same nothing tastes the same so it's like you have to over season it just to get that authentic I it's not over seasoning but you just have to season it properly to get that authentic Jamaican um, flavor taste but she was saying somebody told her to kind of get that taste back add rum to the gold so I was saying okay well you can add rum to the gold then why not add rum to oxtail so I tried this couple a couple months back and I added this just to test it out and see and it was so good it really just enhanced the flavor of the oxtail it just really put it all together like it just tasted so rich and nice oh my gosh if it wasn't good I wouldn't have told you all about it and I wouldn't have said nothing I wouldn't have posted I wouldn't have put it in this because I don't like embarrassment so I wouldn't have I wouldn't have done none of that but it really does make a difference um also like I saw somebody made well, a chef on Facebook made like steak with like Hennessy um so I'm like of course well before I added it I was thinking well vodka liquor and those kinds of stuff people put that in food all the time so it must so I'm like I wonder what right white rum will really do for oxtail boy 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 it is so like listen you gotta try it you gotta try it so I'm gonna put two tablespoons And then we're gonna add water and let this pressure cook so I'm just adding water up until like the halfway mark oh my gosh you can even smell the rum just blended with the spices and the season it just smells so good can't wait till dinner is done my god okay so yeah I just put it up to the halfway mark I don't think you can see but in this one it has like halfway max I'm just putting it into the halfway and then we're gonna put it on the stove. You see my peas over there cooking? Ooh, nice. Okay, so I'm putting on the oxtail now. So shout out to Miss Elaine who gave me the tip hack secret ingredient with the rum. Um, it does make a huge difference. So we're gonna let this pressure cook for about half an hour, then it's gonna dry out and we're gonna probably add more water and let it pressure cook for another half an hour so stay tuned I'm gonna go make a salad or get my daughter to make the salad in the meantime the peas is boiling it's gonna boil for a while adding in the rice and all of that stuff I will show you so in this portion I'm just gonna do a quick voice over explaining what I'm doing because the pressure cooker gets so loud and I don't want you to struggle to hear me through the noise so um, I'm incorporating salt pepper and butter in this stage I'm also added in my sugar I use two cups of white sugar well not two full cups maybe one-third of a cup um, or one-third measuring cup um, two of those and I use white sugar you can use brown or white I had white on hand so that's what I use I added my milk powder I use the powdered coconut milk you can use liquid if you have liquid or if you prefer to grater it's up to you here I'm what I already washed my rice so I'm just adding in the rice but I'm adding in clean rice to my peas and everything I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then when it starts to boil I turn it down and let it steam on low heat I'm just checking to make sure the water temperature or the water level is enough to cook the rice and when the spoon sits above the water you know you have a good amount of water in there so let's jump back into the rest of the cooking okay guys so I'm about to open this now calm down it's drying out very nicely it's like one third of the water left in there it's been pressure cooking for over an hour half an hour segments So I'm gonna be adding carrots. Oh, I can't 
kitchen so not big I can't wait to vlog to get a big kitchen I'm joking <laughs> not really um so I'm gonna add my red peppers and carrots I'm adding it to the pressure cooker because it's gonna cook faster I don't like when you can see chunks of these stuff in this type of meat I like when it's cooked out in the meat and it's just blended like the lima beans is the ch only chunks or if I was doing spinners I'm not doing no dumpling spinners but if I was doing that then um, that would be the only chunks I want to see I don't want to see carrots and for me I don't like it like that like big chunks of carrots I don't like that so I'm gonna put it into the pressure cooker so it can cook out faster and then I'm gonna finish it off on the stove so see what it looks like Oof. I'm gonna add some of the seasons that was left over just a little bit that was left over um add it to that I'm also just gonna add the cock season I'm not gonna add any salt because these seasons have enough salt so if you add enough of them it'll make up for not adding salt just so it's not fresh because I don't want no fresh food <laughs> um and then also some all-purpose this is all purpose I'm also going to add just one more tablespoon of the rum to finish it off. Half of. Little. It's little. Now I do nobody, not me, now I drunk nobody. Promise. Um, so we're going to cook that out. I'm, I'm going to add some water actually. This water is already boiled. It's hot water. And I'm just going to add, bring it up to the one third mark. Time is finished. The water is at the one third mark. So another half an hour or so and it should be pretty much dried out. That way I can just finish it off into the pot with the lima beans, okay? Okay, my rice. My rice has pretty much been simmering. So once it came to a boil, I turned it down on low. So it's been simmering on the stove. I'm gonna, I always like to finish, finish off my rice and peas in the oven. So I'm gonna cover it with foil paper and just finish it off in the oven. And it cooks just nicely, soft all around, just nicely. Transferred it from the pressure cooker to the pot. So I want to thicken up this gravy without adding any more browning. I'm just going to sweeten it up a little bit. I'm going to add the first the lima beans. I'm using Jamaican Pride. I'm gonna add some ketchup. Okay guys, so I just added like one tablespoon more of this rum to finish it off and Look at that. Oh, it looks so good and it tastes so good. Like honestly. The rum really makes a difference, guys. You guys, when you're doing your off-sell, you have to try it with the rum. And I didn't put a lot. I put, you know, in proportions. When I first added it in, I put two um measuring spoons. And then halfway when it's pretty much cooked, I put one tablespoon. And then now just when I'm having it sit after I put all the ingredients and everything and it's literally just gonna sit here and simmer down until it kind of dries out some of the gravy I put one tablespoon so it's not a lot but It's just getting that extra like zingy. Secret ingredients, this right here. Woo. Okay guys, so here it is. Lighting in my house sucks. Okay, so this is my oxtail cooked with white rum. Um 
oh my gosh my kids just ate their dinner and they were like they asked for seconds they're like oh my god mommy this is so good and obviously i tasted it Ugh, i can't wait to go eat look how pretty it looks and smells amazing tastes even better so if you guys enjoyed this recipe uh <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this recipe if you enjoyed cooking with me today go ahead hit that like button um leave a comment tell me what you think tell me if it's something you try you've heard of it it's my secret recipe i'm coining it but if your grandma or auntie or anybody knows about it i want to know so oh no my gravy's getting into my um salad but anyway i'm gonna go eat so yeah go ahead like subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out any of these delicious miss out on any of these delicious meals and i'll see you in the next video um if you're not following me on instagram go ahead and follow me on instagram shay underscore sunshine one and yes i'll see you in the next video take care god bless